Thank you very much. I will not go into much uh, technical, because you will hear, but I want to tell you a little bit about emotions, which also are important for creativity. So first, uh, my big emotion today is to see you all here, to see this, uh, this place full. For two years, you know, I was uh, nominated uh, two and a half years ago by this guy in the first line, Lorenzo Fioramonti, who was for me the, the minister and represented the government. And since for two years, apart from the first months, I've seen this beautiful aula empty. You know, it was real sorrow and suffering. So first, I thank you all individually for coming here and for, you know, doing what we should do, you know, enjoy uh, activities and uh, be active, happy and everything. So I have a real emotion to see this aula full. Thanks a lot. I hope we'll do it again many, many times, uh, every day if possible. Okay, so this is my first feeling. The second feeling is uh, that, uh, uh, you know, I'm here since uh, two and a half years, but this place uh, as a scientific entity was uh, uh, established 20 years ago by Atos De Luca. Atos De Luca was a senator and together with uh, an, an initiative of uh, the so-called uh, Via Panisperma Association and so on, they uh, pushed the idea that this uh, historical location where, you know, things have happened really in the history, not only of science, but of the world uh, happened here. So this historical location would be again a scientific institution. This happened in 1999, so many, many years ago, by Atos De Luca. However, this place was full of, uh, you know, po police or people from the Ministry of Internal Affairs. So it took many, many years, uh, you know, to somehow to move these people, to restore this building, very nicely restored. And finally, the building was ready at the end of, 90, of uh, 2019 more or less when I was appointed. So I had uh, this fantastic opportunity to have an empty building. You know, usually one has the opposite problem. If you go to university, I mean, I spent uh, more than 30 years at Sapienza and about 15 years, uh, more or less, as director of something at CNR as well. So often the problem is, you know, where to find some space for people. And here was the opposite. Here we had, a, you know, a white sheet to, for the project and an empty building, which in, on one hand is nice, on the other hand is a big responsibility. Anyhow, uh, I try to enjoy it, do my best also with many friends, and here a little bit experiences came to help me. I mean, you know, once you are sort of old, you know a few things. I mean, many things are negative, but experience helps. My experience was that uh, uh, I, having worked a lot uh, with the uh, university, Sapienza mostly, also others abroad, I spent many years uh, uh, in other countries and 10 years in industry, in Xerox, uh, US, uh, and Brown Bover in Zurich. So I, it is not by accident that you see the industry here. It comes from my young youth of an industry researchers. And I have to tell you that uh, it, for me, industry was a place where I was very free. I was more free in the industry than as a university professor. When I say these people are astonished, but it was a different time. I mean, the situation was uh, much better for research in industry. But somehow I spent years in industry which were very free. Of course, I helped what I mean, the people around me. But this left me a huge amount of free time. And I think this is a big value because, you know, industry is fundamental in modern society. And in Italy, sometimes uh, young students have the impression that industry just wants to make money. But this is not really what it is. I mean, every place where you eat three times a day, that you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, every 
nation that has this characteristic as a healthy industry. So industry is part of our life. We have to have a good relation between academia, science, and industry. It should be mutually respectful, so nobody should take over. And together, we should do very nice things. And personally, I had a very positive experience. So for me, the relation with the industry was always something to look forward, and where Italy is relatively weak. The technology transfer problem in Italy is not our strongest point. I mean, science is proportionally better off, but tech transfer is somewhat weak. So this idea to deal with the, you know, a modern, active, beautiful, industry like Sony is uh, for me a special pleasure of this relation which I like to introduce, I mean to, to stimulate to have industry. We had uh, here also other meetings with smaller industries. So we made the meeting uh, with um, Scienza e Impresa Digitale, science and digital companies. So we're small, I mean companies up to a thousand people, uh, relatively local, we try to develop specific research projects. So this is for me something from my youth, okay? And so I'm especially glad that, that this now is happening. The second thing is that when I decided to come back to Italy, I, had, uh, I was somehow pretty competitive as a young guy, so I had many offers. I don't tell you where, but in the US, uh, Germany, etc. And I decided, okay, I want to try Rome. You know, I grew up there after all, uh, for theoretical physics is good. And this was a good bet because uh, what I found in Rome was a lot of traffic, a relatively inefficient uh, system of transportation, something a little bit messy. Of course, it's beautiful, I mean. But I found marvelous students. You know, that was my strength, I mean, their strength. So one guy once he looked at my CV and he said, you know what, in your CV, the best part is the list of your students. Now this I took, I mean, I didn't know whether to take it positive or negative, but I decided that it is positive. So now I have in my office all the thesis, 170, Laurea or PhD thesis are behind me with all the names. Everybody who comes looks for his name. And of course, a very prominent member of this list is Vittorio. So this is for me a special pleasure. And it was these great students who were the strength. So I never regretted not to go in more prestigious or at least formally prestigious places I mean, with respect to, to Rome and Italy, because with, with the students, they, we could achieve a lot of things. And today we see one of these results. So the industry, the very good students, uh, something original. So what we did with this uh, white piece of sheet with, uh, in the, the empty room, we decided to go for uh, something original. I mean, we cannot be the copy of CNR or INFN or Sapienza. We should do something original. I had a lot of experience uh, with CNR and Sapienza, and I knew the good points and the and the, some of the problematic things. So, for example, uh, Sapienza is the place where there are many, many brilliant students. This is the strength of the place. On the other hand, university in Italy is made in compartments, the raggruppamenti disciplinari. It is something horrible. I mean, if you want to get a, a position, you have to work only in one field. It is a sort of absurd limitation. It is a historical whatever, I mean, but this we should try to eliminate. On the other hand, in CNR, this limitation is not there. CNR was much more open to interdisciplinary stuff. So in 2004, I was able to establish the Institute of Complex System of CNR, which today is, uh, is uh, directed by Claudio Conti very well, and uh, is one of the standard uh, institutions. This would not, could not have been possible at the university because of these separate things. So I knew a little bit the weak points and strong points. Weak point in CNR, and here I'm glad to see the president of CNR, weak point of CNR is the lack of students. Because if you don't put young students, PhD and so on, this CNR Institute tend to be a little bit uh, 
uh, monody, isolated entities. So university has a lot of action with new people, students. Uh, on the other hand, it has the limitations in the areas, uh, scientific area, CNR is more open. In the scientific area, it has the problem of not having the students. So I knew all these things, uh, and uh, then I, I decided to take the best out of this new place uh, that we have here. So the first thing I did, uh, I established the PhD program. Okay, so we have a PhD program with Rome 1, Rome Sapienza, Tor Vergata and Rome 3, and every year five or six or more students come here with the PhD of the Fermi Center, so we have a continuous flow. Of course, we try to interact with everybody, with Sapienza, with CNR, etc., etc., but on which topics? So the topics should be original, should have an identity here, so there should be a characteristic of that something is, is done here. It should not be just one addendum to standard activities, which can be, of course, marvelous, but I mean, we should de de define this uh, identity of activities. So where to go? Well, you know, physics, chemistry, biology, and mathematics are entities that were defined two or three centuries ago. But still, we have walls. We have the walls of physics department, the walls of chemistry. So we can go across these walls. And this here is easy. We decide ourselves. You know, it's a small group. So this is the agility of the place. When I established the Institute of Complex System, also we went in this direction. And now here we can go one step further, because this, after all, is a national institution. So the idea was to go into those problems that are not perfectly represented by the standard disciplines. Which are these problems? These are the most interesting problem of science and society today. For example, take artificial intelligence. I mean, everybody talks about what is it is mathematics, physics, chemistry, or medicine, for example. So it's a little bit of everything. So we should have an identity and we can find our soul into this sort of transverse uh, new problems of present society. We also want to go close to society. So we, in a, as much as possible, we want that our stuff is immediately usable, more, hopefully, uh, as you see with the Sony collaboration, this is quite visible. And this we are pushing also in another direction. So together with our collaborators, we have developed a new method to analyze uh, economics, which is called uh, economic fitness and complexity. And this method is also part of the collaboration with Sony, but it has been strongly supported by the World Bank of Washington. So we will have a similar meeting, hopefully in a couple of months, with the World Bank of Washington, which will establish a think tank here in the Fermi Center in collaboration. So these are the things I'm really proud and thank everybody who has participated. And I think they give an identity to the place for problems which, uh, which are interesting, important, and uh, moreover, fun. We want to enjoy and, you know, be happy with the beautiful questions. So, uh, in the end, uh, what else can I say? Uh, well, also the European Commission has adopted our methodology, and uh, I don't know whether we can do something together, but certainly this is something we will push a lot. So I hope uh, this is the first meaning of this type of collaboration, either with the company or with other institutions like the World Bank or the European Commission, and I hope to see you again here, and thanks again for coming here today. Thank you. Thank you.